The warrior mentality is what I love, being able to fight for something that you believe in and that you love. Life is definitely hard and gives you a lot of challenges. When the injury happened, were you worried that was the end? That you would never do martial arts again? Ooh, that's a great question. My name is Brandon Johnson. I'm a fifth degree black belt and I'm a chief instructor at ATA Legends Martial Arts. The spark that got me into martial arts was really my dad. Uh, he showed me Bruce Lee. Yes! And I loved Bruce Lee. I loved how fit he was and how fierce and how fast he was. So after I saw some Bruce Lee movies, I was punching all over the house. I've competed in several tournaments over my lifetime, and I won the 2014 World Championships, so I'm a world champion for extreme weapons. The number one thing I love is inspiring people to do martial arts. Respect for who? Myself. Inspiring others to do what they thought was impossible. What happened when I got injured was I wasn't stretching or training properly. I was just thinking I was young and I, I'm okay and I can, I can tough it out no matter what happens. And I went straight into the ring, did a spinning kick. It's a, a 360 rotation with a fast kick. And when I put my knee down really fast, my knee twisted. And immediately I knew something was wrong. And you see me in the video kind of wiggle my knee. And so it was very painful. And it made it really challenging to walk, let alone kick. So that was a big problem for me. So the morning after the injury actually happened, the first person I called was Dr. Byrne and him telling me that don't worry, we can fix this, and he explained it to me that morning. That was huge for me, and I let out a big sigh of relief. Brandon first came to me about two years ago. Uh, he had an issue with his knee, and Brandon is a world-class or world champion in Taekwondo, and that's what he does for a living. Uh, he uh, teaches Taekwondo and he competes in tournaments. His knee was swollen, he had difficulty walking uh, in his knee, so first we got an x-ray, and after examining Brandon, I was concerned he tore his meniscus. I believe that spot right there was the main problem area, right there. It was the first time in my life I couldn't do martial arts, so it was definitely scary, and so I was very nervous, and so I was asking a ton of questions, and he answered them flawlessly, and he was very uh, slow with me to make sure I understood everything, and I just felt welcome and comfortable. Brandon did end up having surgery on his knee. Uh, he did have a meniscus tear, and at that point in time, he had a meniscus repair. I just want to take a second to brag on my doctor here, Dr. Byrne. He went in yesterday and fixed my leg right up. He's an amazing doctor. After this surgery, I was recovering in crutches and the organization, which ATA is worldwide, the headquarters called me and said, we have a demonstration for our 50th anniversary. We'd love for you to be a part of it. It was a huge honor for me to be just invited to do this performance. Everyone was gonna be there and I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot do anything. So as soon as we started physical therapy, I was asking them a ton of questions and I know, you know, I probably seemed a little annoying to them, but I really wanted to know and I really wanted to help and they were so patient with me. Brandon was very careful. He did his, his physical therapy. He, he did everything he was supposed to do and he was able to get back to uh, doing uh, his Taekwondo and going back and competing in tournaments and he did excellent. I was able to recover and within two months we were actually able to do that performance. I've been able to see him teach Taekwondo again. I've watched him spar. I've watched him do flips. It, it's pretty amazing what he can do. It's just been very rewarding watching him get back to doing what he loves to do. And I remember I was sitting backstage and they were about to call us up to do our stuff and I, I like shed a tear because I saw they went through the whole history of our organization, 50 years of martial arts and the, the masters before me and it was a big honor for me to be there. And then I got to perform as well, like that was all possible because of Dr. Byrne.